Thank, thank you for uh, answering my questions. My name is Joy. Hi, Joy. And it's an answer to prayer to be here. So here they are. Three real quick questions. Okay. A little complicated. How do I know if I am saved if I have blasphemous thoughts? Should I be taking communion if I am not sure if I am saved? If I am not chosen, would I even care about being saved? This, my friends, is the fruit of lordship salvation. Distress, anxiety, worry, guilt, fear, condemnation, confusion, and torment. This is what happens when you are taught to focus on the sinner rather than the Savior. Analyzing self rather than searching the scriptures. Resting in my performance rather than his promise. Looking in the mirror rather than looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Really good questions, Joy. You have a wonderful name, but sometimes it's hard to live up to, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, how would you like to be named Joy and have to always be assumed to be possessing all of that? I can, I can hear the cry of your heart, Joy. I, I, I want to make it as simple as I can. Um, the fact that you are asking these questions is evidence of the work of God in your heart. It is evidence of your desire for Him and for salvation and to know Him. That, that is evident there. The fact that you would stand up in front of all of us and, and unbury your heart in such a sweet and honest way is evidence of the, of the hunger of your heart to know Him, and I think that's what you're essentially saying. Um, the way you know that you are saved is by your desire. The way you know that you are saved is by your desire. The way you know that you are saved is by your desire. Do you desire to know God? Yes. Do you desire do you desire that he would know you and love you? Yes. Do you desire to love Him? Yes. Do you desire to honor Him? Yes. Do you desire to obey His Word? Should we base the assurance of salvation on the subjective experience of sinful man or the objective truth of God's Word? Think about that. Subjective experience, my desires, my emotional state, the way I feel, or objective truth. Thus saith the Lord. I understand you feel this way, but here's what the Word of God says, the God that cannot lie. Which of these two does not change? Here's a question that seems relevant to this discussion that John MacArthur failed to ask. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Are you trusting in Him alone? His death for the payment of your sins, his burial, his resurrection. If you are joy, then you are saved based on the testimony of God's unchanging word. Watch this, regardless of your emotional experience. I'll say that again. Regardless of your emotional experience, whether it be intrusive thoughts, feelings of condemnation and guilt, Here's what the Bible says. If our heart condemn us, God is greater than our hearts and knoweth all things. The objective truth of God's word is where we find assurance. That is where we find rest, peace, and comfort. How do I know I'm saved? How do I know I have everlasting life? How do I know I'm a child of God? How do I know that I'm not condemned? How do I know that I shall not come into condemnation? How do I know that I'm born again? Because of the way I feel? Because of my desires? My emotions? No. Because of the testimony of God's unchanging word. What saith the scripture? Let God be true, but every man a liar. 